What's up guys, boy Roll the Monster here. I'm giving you a quick video on Riot SND tips, tricks, jump spots, and rushes. Um, a lot of pro players already do probably know these, but like I said, it's not something that everybody knows, so that's why I'm here making this video for you. Um, we're gonna start off with the first one. Spawn on offense, what you can do is, this is one I do really a lot, flank, spawn on overclock, you wanna have your knife out, jump. You get this little glitch where it lets you exo boost twice like it just did right there. You can get on top of your three stories without actually jumping up or side strafing. I see a lot of people going like this, trying to side strafe and go on it, but not a lot of people are good at that, so it's much easier. And I know how I got that my first try. It's a lot harder side strafing, but anyways, I um, find it much easier just doing an overclocking the talent type, put them both on with the knife out, and then you get that extra boost because it's a look. If you don't have overclock. I don't think you'll be able to make it. Oh, you can sometimes. Wow, that's rare, but. Anyways, slop on overclock and get there much quicker, faster, and everything, but I guess I'm just having a lucky day. Okay, all right, never mind. This video is making me look shit, but anyways, slop on overclock and get there quicker, anyways. Um, another good spot is up on top of here. You actually get on top of this light post if you have not known that. You can watch over, or you can get on top of this one. It's different, many, 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 many different spots. You jump on to back and forth. You can even get on top of this light post if you want to. It's up to you. Um, another good spot is you can actually wall bang B bomb from here. If you have the bomb planted, it says defend B, and he will mostly think you're inside his building, top green and bottom green. What I usually like to do is just hide right here. And you can just come up, pack it, and then dip out if he comes. Or there's also also a wall bang. You gotta just shoot through this where it says defend B. Just aim underneath it and shoot it. And this this whole entire wall is like paper. I don't get it. Um, Bloodhammer, I guess, makes paper walls. Um, so it's a back ghost, basically much. And you can also do the same thing right here where it says defend B. You plant the bomb, you could wall bang it. And if you don't see him, you just dip away. You just check it again if you want to by just wall banging it. We're jumping up top three, but like I said you could wall bang right through the bomb. You could also plant on the side of right here. Run to jail. You could also check it by shooting through this wall. If you want to check it, you just come over here and just shoot. So you either kill him or not. If you don't get any home markers, that means it's not the A really good spot is nobody really knows this one. It's really tricky to get. Good. Say if you have bomb down at A bomb. You can run an overclock. Jump up on here. Oops. Oh, I failed it. But here, I'll give it a try again. Or you could side strafe if you're really good at it, but overclock so much easier to me. Alright, now I'm on it. It's really slippery and everything, like you, you can't stand still unless you lay down, which you want to lay down anyways. And then you have pretty much the whole entire map. Right, enough jump spots on top of light posts and everything. I'm gonna guys, I'm gonna show you a nice A rush that I do. Um, pretty sure other people do it too, but if you don't know it, it helps you, benefits you, so not meant for people already know it. So you spawn up, I switch my knife, put on the overclock, knife makes you run faster. You just want to side strafe like a maniac, switch out to regular gun, come over here, and then you're already in jail, and you can flank them from behind. You either come up here, flank them from top three, or you can just push up from underneath like you did, and then come over here. Um, that way, usually you can beat them, like especially the snipers, you can, like I always do this rush every single time, and usually it does beat them. Where they can't snipe you can get in fire and you can hold down the fire for them by just laying down like this or you can push it out i usually push it out i don't like it I'm slow but that's a really good rush all right here's another good rush that you could do you're spawning up you want to switch over to overkill you want to go underneath you're gonna have three snipers you jump up top and you're gonna quickly kill them and you're gonna try to get the bomb plant down for your guy you want to plant on this side so you're covered from fire the bomb will be protecting you and while you're doing that your guy should be pushed up doing my rush pushed up going to fire and you just sit right there and watch your back and you can hear if he exos top three so that's a really good rush i haven't really seen many people do that all right now time to show you guys a rush for whenever you're on defense trying to stop the other team a lot of people use pre-nades they jump up here they go like this and they throw their both nades etc i'm only going to throw one or else i won't be able to kill myself um, and they'll try to get a lucky grenade, but I prefer just keeping it and having stuns 
And what all we do is, as soon as you spawn up, switch your knife, turn on overclock. You want to boost knee slides, the fastest way to go. Come over here and just sit like this, so you can see if they A-cross. If they come up, A-cross. They don't, you don't see anything, you can push up here, most likely there will be a character right there, so you can have your stun, that's what I usually have mine for. When I come out here and I don't see anything, I go like this, throw my stun, you can double click X to blow it up, then you can feed them, you can get them, uh, call them out to your teammates, whatever. If you don't see anybody, then they're obviously going B side, you can go ahead and hit the hard flank, make sure he's enough top here, etc. So that's a really good rush I use too as well. Alright, another good rush is a lot of pro players do, so you have to have really good gun skill to it, I prefer having a bow LMG. Um, overkill, or just not even have overkill, just have an LMG with your knife so you can run faster getting there and overclock. What you want to do is as soon as you spawn up, I've actually done this a lot of times, it actually helps a lot. You just want to go over here as fast as you can, and you want to get on the bomb, and you just see everybody rushing you, you can just LMG them out, or you can see another spot, you can see people across from here, this is the most common spot, almost everybody knows. If you don't notice, you're day one. Yeah, you can see through there, but yeah, you can, I know a lot of players that do this, like smoked when I play to him, that's what he does. It's really fucking annoying, especially when you have this type of connection. And last but not least, there is a spot right here to where if you have a sniper and hover, you can actually jump up, hover, and you can see right through the middle, and you can snipe him or watch jail to 4v4. Usually you send one out mid, um, so that you can't get flanked, so it's an actual good idea. I actually done it once or twice, but you actually jump up, turn on hover, you can see through all that with a thermal sniper or a regular sniper it's up to you but you can kind of get the idea of what i'm talking about i don't have the class right now i became unprepared so um but yeah you can kind of see what i'm talking about you can get the idea you can see from there definitely 100 percent the hover you can see right through so um that's not a bad idea either um but yeah anyways thank you guys for watching the video like comment subscribe if you like for more and uh, this is Ronald Monster. I'm out. I will be uploading actually more videos from now on, more commentaries now that I got my desktop. So I expect more things to come. Riot is my worst map for spots, tips, and tricks. There's not many things you can do. My probably next video will probably be, I don't know, Solar, or I don't know. We'll see. Well, anyway, probably Detroit, actually. Detroit has a lot. Of I have amazing spots, tricks, and rushes, and that. So my next video will be that. Thank you very much for watching. Like I said, see ya.